Raise your right hand up a little as you're about ready. No, not not quite that much. I, I just don't want you to touch the coil. Yeah, I won't. If you touch it, let me know. Okay. No, I don't come. Well, this is good. Tell a little bit, not much. Mm -hmm. I, I'm more or less trying to, I'm trying to keep from fluctuating. Uh -huh. Oh, you're trying to hold it steady. Right? Kind of steady. I, well, okay. See. You're trying to keep it from fluctuating. I'll try to keep it fluctuating. Now I'm going to start reversing it. All right. I feel like they're too far apart, but we may not be able to put them any closer to getting out. There, I felt a little. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, now, I'd bring, bring your hands down slowly and touch, just barely touch the top of the coil, will you? Tell me when you touch them. Right uh, there, just barely. Just every time that machine rattles, I just barely touch it. Okay, fine. That's good. What, what, this, what this spike is, it's the electrostatic pulse. Yeah. Uh -huh. When you touch that, you discharge the I electrostatic. I discharge from it. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Uh, please don't do it yet until I'm ready. Uh, and uh, what I'm seeing here are some, look at that peak when you first started. Yeah. That's, that, that's how I started controlling out here. Now, you didn't touch it here, did you? No, I didn't I was, touch no, it. No, I didn't touch it. Because I was well. watching. What do you mean you started to control? I started, I was, why I started floating. Why don't you let yourself go and see? You know, that's huh? what he's going to do next. Oh. He's going to let himself go this next time. Oh, okay. All right. So you mean just let it kind of just Yeah, put right. this, just burn it. I was trying to hold it. a pattern. I was just trying to smoke it. it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean the coil in his hand. Mm -hmm. That I, The movement of those ions is causing a magnetic field which is picked up by these sensor coil. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's inducing, in other words, a magnetic field there. Mm -hmm. Okay. But not because of the magnetism in his body, because of the uh, the electrical energy in his body that's creating the ions that produce the magnetic yeah. field. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So it's I, and I like I say, I'm dumbfounded. I've never seen anything like that in anybody. And you see now what I'm talking about I feel these magnetic it's like holding magnets together in my hand. No question about it. There are going to be rings over there. <laughs> Shall we let me walk toward her and see what happens? No. Mm. You didn't touch a minute ago, Al? Yeah. Huh? Touch. Did you? Yeah. Both hands? Mm -hmm. One and the other. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's that's Eddie's. Yes. Straight on down the line. Yes. <laughs> Which I've never seen. Not even Gail has done that. No, that's okay. Now you want to. Uh... When I do this again, don't anybody say anything. Let's keep it just, you know, totally quiet so I can. When you say something, I break my concentration breaks just a little bit. Okay, I'll tell you when it is. See, I have that set. Should be far enough. You ready? Any time. Okay. Did you? Left hand, just barely tap it. Left hand, okay. Now I tried, what I was doing then was trying to pull energy in. I thought you didn't want to talk. Well, I'm talking. Yeah. He can talk. Oh, okay. I'm trying to describe as I go in here with it. All right. Pushing energy. <laughs> My 
hands right now feel like they're right in the middle between two magnets. Are you trying to suppress it right now? I feel like I'm pushing it down or pushing it. Yeah, okay. Open it up once. I mean, let's see what the highest peak you can do. Anything? Yeah, I'll, don't worry about what's happening here. I'll tell you after you're through. Oh, that might be yeah, you, you, you're hitting the table there. Yeah. Um, I think the right hand is just as amazing as the left. approximately one inch three quarters to an inch above them. I, feel, I feel a very very strong magnetic field all around the ends of my hands I never felt it like that I mean I feel like my hands inside a the magnetic field that's totally sur surrounding me. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all taught me how to do this. Show me a little more head. Okay, Ed, do you want to you wanna quit or you want to go on a little bit? Sure. What toy are you telling me? <laughs> well... You want to see if I can go up with it a little bit? These friends of mine showed me how to really exert energy. Fantastic. Okay, why don't you take a break? Needle was going like a polygraph. I mean, I've been making that energy ball for you too. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Um, let's see. That was where Don hit the table. I've been building one for him. I'm building you an energy ball. Going, let's not get into it. Let's just take it one at a time here, right? Okay. Uh, this is where you said you were, no, this is where you were concentrating, trying to get some good energy, which you uh -huh. did. Then you said, I'm suppressing it right in here. Mm -hmm. But then it, then it got away from me here. And it, yeah. And then, and then, then you were suppressing it, apparently. Then here, look at you almost, this almost it repeats the same waveform. Mm-hmm. Over and over. That's, that's astounding. Uh, then out here is that's where... That's where I was pushing the energy on up. Out, out here is where I said, you know, let's see, that's where you really... That's where I was, that's where I started, like, talking to, imagining I was talking to them or something and trying to remember how they showed me how to... Look at Don, the amazing part of this, Don, is the... Uh, he, he he actually predicted that it was going to be a higher energy, and it was. You didn't produce anything like that here. No, I was just this, this is, in itself. This is a blank mind right here. <laughs> this is a blank mind for me right here. Now here I'm starting to start reversing the energies, change of polarities, as per se. This is just as amazing as the as the left hand. I mean, look how flat that is. My God. <laughs> See, people could do this biofield therapy, uh, and it seems to be true that the energy comes out of your left hand and the energy of your right. Mm-hmm. Well, mm -hmm. it seems to be true because the here, see, um, weak as they are, I can show you some others in, in my file here that I did, I've done recently that, all right, mm -hmm. like yours is just incredible, incredible. And then look at Al's here. Suddenly he came on and, ooh, you know, the big one? Yeah. You know, let's see. What do we want to try next? What was the baseline when he started? The baseline is right there. Okay. And then when he put his hands on, it went... From here to there. Okay, and then it scribbled around. This is around. all high, 
Okay, and that was calming down. Fairly high over frequency. Here. Uh -huh. Then I said, you said right about here. No, you said uh -huh. calm here, but I was at the same instant. I was getting that, like right. what I call an earthquake warning. And this is where uh -huh. I very calm. Okay. Notice the lack of yeah. frequency. Okay. And then, and then I said go, go right there. Yeah, can you pull that out a little bit so it's out from under? Not there? easy. Let's see. Okay, so I you said go there. Right there. Yeah. Uh -huh. And at that point, Ed, you started... So that's just a little different, right there. Uh -huh. I told him to come right here. Uh-huh. And when, and when Lefty said go, you did that, uh, something with your mind there? Yeah, well, that's when I reach, like, reach out uh -huh. or something. Don't, it's not... Uh -huh. When I'm going, extend something. Okay. I mean, I'm making this energy that's out past my hands work. Uh-huh. And when I calm it, I just kind of turn it off. And I see. Oh, okay. There's this is John Getty. Yeah. You just joined us. Oh, no. Yeah. What am I going to find myself on television? <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Never know. Okay, this time Dave yeah. is going to try the experiment. In a minute here. Get things ready. Okay, there's the baseline now. Well, yeah, the wrong needle turned out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oops. Okay, the hands are on. Notice we get a different pattern with Dave. The period of the pulses are far greater, and I've seen this all day long. In Dave? Oh. Huh? In, In Dave, Dave. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the patterns are quite different, John. In different people? Yeah. Well, that's it's going up pretty high, though, now, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, I haven't seen that before in here. Now he's bringing it down. So you do anything there, Dave? Okay, wait, wait, a minute, wait a minute. You doing any, going through any... See if you can calm it now, Dave. Sort of no. visualizing there, Dave. Nothing. It's nothing. I don't think it's anything to do with the brain. I think uh -huh. it's uh, electrical energy in my chest muscles. Oh yeah. So are you I'm kind of tense. I'm completely relaxed right now. Uh huh. Tense my chest muscles. Okay. And now you're tensing. Tense. Uh huh. I mean, I talk, I've, I've been talking to your chest muscles instead of your brain, huh? <laughs> okay. Now relax the chest muscles. Okay. Now tense them. But it's nothing to do with force. We did some no. experiments earlier. Yeah. It's electrical. Relax it again now. Now tense up your thigh, one of your thighs. If you can, like you're stretching a leg. You look like you're. Both legs. Can you do it? Both legs, except that vision on now past my body. Yeah. You know? Okay, so that doesn't do anything. The thighs aren't I'll doing anything. No. I'll go trying to tense muscles. In, so. Okay. Now try the uh, chest muscle again. Oh. See, Dave is a weightlifter. Interesting. Yeah. Used to. Be. So, well, used to be. my chest is now not lower than it used to be. <laughs> okay, so there's there's a connection with the chest. Flexing. But but it's not a force. Uh -huh. it's that's a, no, it's not. That's where his arms are attached, anyway. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so let's look. Are you trying to tense my shoulders? It could be having an effect on the nerves going down your oh, arms. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Very well, good. 
and then changing chest the, and lats. Ending up changing the biofield in the hands. Mm -hmm. No? I can yeah. bring it up for a peek, but I can't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you play any musical instruments? No. You know. <laughs> Would be. But it's like when I do it, it's like I visual this energy like an aura around me, but the aura's way on out here. Uh -huh. And then I'm trying to move what's way out here, uh -huh. as opposed to what's connected to me. So you're not tensing anything. You're no, just kind I'm of not tensing. kind I'm of visualizing that energy is going out. It's like sending your... energy to move my hands or uh -huh. my finger muscles, but instead of moving them, I'm moving something that's on out past them. Uh -huh. And then yeah. that's where I get my energy up. And then when he says uh -huh. calm it, I just more or less turn yeah. this off. He, um, uh -huh. I suggested to him. Um, uh, a little while ago when we talked about this, that uh, if you could imagine having a paralyzed limb or something like that, mm -hmm. and then trying to get that to move. Exactly. That's it, it was the or same. Amputated or an amputated, mm -hmm. or something like that. Some, uh -huh. Yeah, or something like that. It was like that, if you know what I mean. And one knows yeah. that people, after a lot of effort, uh -huh. one day there's a little flicker, perhaps, and something uh -huh. happens. Yeah. Except he was doing it with something that never existed in the first uh -huh. place. Yeah. What? Point that out again, Lexi. What? what? What you just said, we'll get it here on tape. The oh. difference between uh, uh, Ed with, and Dave. Well, with Dave, or with Ed, he's, he's, this is characteristic of what I see mm -hmm. with him, is he much mm -hmm. higher pulses and a lot of a fine structure in here. Whereas with Dave, you get the more smooth and much longer period. This is mm -hmm. 5, 10, 15, 20 to 25 second period here. Uh -huh. Whereas with Ed, it's just two or three seconds uh -huh. period in, in a given mm -hmm. pulse. Yeah. Hmm. See when? No. Pain, right? Yeah. Well, this is characteristic. That of, looks very much uh, like yours. Yeah. This time of day. Oh, Inky, can it? Okay, John, make it happen. <laughs> Visualize something. No, that's typical of. Uh, mm -hmm. Except John's has got a little fine structure in there, which is yeah. uh, puzzling. I haven't seen that too often. See that little? Mm -hmm. Very, very low. Little, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a minute. Yeah, that could be air motion, though, Ed. What, you mean air motion in his ears? No. Eddie was? Eddie. Yeah. Yeah. And you see that gap? Right through there? Yeah. Okay. It was thundering lightly. Just low thunder right back here. But that's after he had done heal my ankle. And he looked over that way done this way. He says within five or ten minutes there'll be a bolt of lightning come right through that gap and hit down at the hotel. Yeah. And he walked right over there. See on that bank where that rock wall is? Yeah. And he was standing right there. Okay. Doing like this. And I was sitting Right here. Yeah. And I could see that good. And that bottle of fire comes down, bolts of lightning. And it sounded like a dynamite. And a flash went off. Is that right? That's, that's a fact. Right through the gap. You see that gap? It hit right up there on the ridge, in that little gap of the trees. That's <laughs> where I told him it was going to hit. Yeah. And how he knew that, 
I would it say. It wasn't how I knew that. I made it happen. <laughs> okay. One or the other. What I did, it wouldn't have happened. Yeah. Well, anyway, it happened. Just like he said it would do. Yeah. And I would say it was maybe less than ten minutes. Huh. <laughs> and he said five or ten. What? And he said five or ten. Yeah, he said in five or ten minutes it'll hit. I had to go over and turn my computer off. I didn't want it to mess with it, you know. Yeah. So I went yeah, over and turned my computer he off and went there. outside and did it. <laughs> he said he was going over and turn his computer off before it hit. It'd be kind of hard to argue he didn't know it was coming. Well, I'm not going to argue with him. <laughs> one way or the other. Well, what'd he do to your ankle? I couldn't walk on it and it kept bothering me all the time. And if he just cured it, I reckon. Hmm. How'd he do it? Well, let's see. Where was I sitting? You're right there. You rested it up on that rocking chair. Yeah, there. I was resting it up on this chair. Right here. And he got right out in front there and just for a few minutes. And it got real hot. Hot? Hot. My ankle got hot. Got hot? Hot. He had to take the shoe off. Yeah. And it stayed hot for three for days. Three days. A day or two, anyway. And that's healed. And it. Well, now I can just move it any way I want to. It's the size of a grapefruit when it was swallowed up. Now, what was the matter with it? Is it? Well, I don't know. It just when I'd walk, it's, it, it it seemed like it just had a, a nail or something in there. Yeah. Had you been to the doctor? No. No. Not for that. Well. Yeah. So made a believer out of you, did it? Yes, he did. That's all right. You gonna get a dose of it in a few minutes. Yeah, I bet. What, did he fix it? How long has it been fixed? About a week now. Yeah, about a week. About a week, I guess. How fast did the pain come out of it? Oh, it come out a lot quick. A few minutes. Yeah. I'm sure a good chance. Need to get a shot of that. <laughs> I think so. Well, you see, I couldn't bend it up like that. Yeah. I'd start walking up the hill, uh, and I'd just have to stop. Because I, it, it wouldn't bend up like that. Yeah. But now it bends just anyway. I wanted to. Road.